What's up, guys? We're back here at the GSL Code Ass. It's time for our final game today. Our series today, excuse me. That's right. Uh, we have Effort already through in first place, kind of crushing his way there with a 4 0 victory. Really Classic. exciting to see him get yeah. this far, too. Very much so. Classic bombing out 1 4. Now it's Shine against SOS, the rematch. Of course, SOS did take out Shine 2 to 1. It was a good series, though. Uh, can Shine end up coming back and winning? I find it unlikely. I think that SOS has learned enough. I think he's not going to make these same mistakes. Uh, it's pretty clear what Shine's strategy is on overgrowth, catch your sentries, and then kill you. Um, so SOS basically has to watch out for that, because that's like a big map win for Shine in both uh, ZVP series so far. Well, it's all going to come down to this. Shine, the guy who was really eager to get to the round of eight here, against SOS, somebody who's already won so much in StarCraft 2, as far as tournaments and just money overall, over $200,000. It's going to start on King Sage on the station. SOS lost, being a bit caught off guard uh, by this attack from Shine. I don't think we're going to have another game like that, but it's really hard to tell what kind of game when you have these two players put them together. Really hard to say what the uh, series is going to look like. Uh, and by the way, the map has now loaded up. So let's get ready. Remember, the loser here at this best of three is out of the GSL code S. The winner is the second player to move on to the round of 16. To the bottom right, our unpredictable and wild Zerg, he is. Samsung Galaxy can shine. And in the upper left, our Protoss player, so smart. Gene Air Green Wings SOS. All right, Tasteless. Okay, Ooh. there we go. Uh, another quick pull here. Now, remember, we did see uh, SOS actually open up with a pylon and a gate at the ramp here, and it looks mm -hmm. like he's going to do just that. This is going to be bad news here for Shine. Yeah, this is uh, this is a good opener for SOS, and yeah. uh, especially on this position, uh, the way he's walling it in, the Cybernex core will have a very thin area that can be attacked by Lings compared to uh, you know on that Deadwing game where it was like this super wide area. So that's good for him. This is uh, definitely. Fortuitous for SOS as far great as word choice there. That was great. The openings. Yeah, thank you. I am, uh, you know, I've got a very good vocabulary. I think. Great lexicon you got there. Yeah. No. I uh, sometimes use words in ways that other people do not. You're very verbose. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm wondering I if Shine can actually. I wonder if he'll commit all these lings all the way up the ramp. <laughs> <laughs> this attack might be very ineffectual. <laughs> we start out with words used correctly, and then we just kind of it's just digress. Yeah, it's devolved, really. <laughs> it has, it yeah. has devolved. <laughs> but it might revolve if we start taking it more seriously. Yeah. More serious face. <laughs> um, so the Ling has come up here. The Zealot's going to try to bait the oh. Ling's to hitting the Zealot and not the core. Hmm. Now, remember, the uh, core almost was knocked out yeah. last time. Let's see here. We don't, we don't see the HP on the core uh, just yet. But I think it should be almost gone with yeah, gone with shields there. That's what he was waiting for oh, right there. Oh, man. He needs really to beautiful surround here. Nice uh, micro there to push that one Zealot back. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus It's Christ. like he died and was reborn at full health. That hot six Phoenix has gone right into this guy, man. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa, a little bit of. Oh, I see. I thought when the... Zealots died, they turned into dragoons. I guess they don't, right? No, That's... apparently, if Zealot dies, it turns into another Zealot. That's the sickest death rattle I've ever oh seen in any game. Oh my god, seriously. Okay. So he drove out those lings. He didn't lose the core, mm -hmm. he did lose the one Zealot. Uh, the, the other one popped out like immediately afterwards. The Nexus is coming down now. Um, this is looking great for SOS. 
Yeah, it certainly is. Uh, he's got the high end of build orders this time, no doubt about that. Fourlings trying to do a little run around here. It's kind of annoying, but uh, he does have a probe that, I don't know. No, nope, just lets him not. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. I was like, huh, that's kind of weird to just let him up, right? Uh, probably smart to send one zealot back in that wall and just... Oh, okay. He's got the mothership core, so he can just take him out. I'm so bad at that micro right there that we're watching. Like the worst in the whole it world. It was not party and controlling that. Well, parting would have gone over and killed the hatch by now with that thing. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be like two queens. He's like, oh, no problem. He just kills them both. I'm like, what? <laughs> so, yeah, no, I time warped him. It was, it was easy. <laughs> like, what does that have to They still shoot at the same rate. <laughs> the Nexus is almost done. Uh, the Forge is about halfway done. We have 28 drones to 20, uh, excuse me, 26 probes. And Link's speed has started. Yeah, that's when we find out that... Uh, Parting's alternate ego ID is uh, Wind Park Prime, and he's actually made all the maps so that when the name Parting is in the game, all the stats are different. <laughs> I wonder if we, could you do that with a map editor? I mean, the map editor in StarCraft Two is pretty probably complex. Probably. All right. Well, we do have actually a, a decent number of lings being made with that speed, Tasis. And I, I, okay, yeah, he's going for a third cancel for sure here. This is. Uh, of course, I guess if the wall isn't complete, he might try to poke up here. But basically what he's doing is saying, okay, the time that you've been expanding with this build each time is really before you have enough units to stop this many links. And he's going to have his speed. Plus one won't be done. Second third gate's just finished. So how many units really does he have? He has 12 army supply right now. Um, Let's see, though. I mean, we don't know if Swiss is actually going to push out here now. Oh, uh, he has to walk out and take a third in a second here, right? We should see a Twilight go down, then a third go down, like, immediately Oh, so you think after. he's going to do the exact same seven-gate build? Yeah, All right. yeah, I there's th a Twilight. I think you're right, Artosis. I take it back. Twilight here? So he should be walking out, and how many lings do we actually have? 17 army supplies, so that's, like, 34 lings, maybe? 33 or 34 lings? Okay, um, he's coming down now. He wants Overlord those sentries. Actually. He's so hungry for those sentries, Tasteless. <gasps> Here they go. All right. And he's going to get see. the cancel. Okay. Yep. Insta cancel. That's a, that's a really big move. Uh, but, of course, you know, he did give up uh, a lot of drones and a lot of mining that could have happened by making those links and also by getting the gas so quickly. Uh, but it fits into his strategy. You know, he's going to be aggressive with these links. He's going to poke. He's going to prod. Delay this base more. But this is a very annoying situation for Protoss to actually be in. To be against uh, a Zerg that has canceled your third, this third is going to be really, really late now. because Well, I mean, it makes just the whole timing of everything for Protoss yeah. really bad because you don't want to have two gate um, with the gateways this much later, by the way. Two base, excuse me, with gateways this much later. Blink, Stalker. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. nowhere near as effective. He would have made the gates long ago um, instead of the Nexus so that the timing would have been stronger. But now SOS is in a bit of a bind. Yeah, and uh, your minerals really bank up quickly. So notice he's already added a bunch of gates. He has plus two and blink on the way. We're going to hit 10 minutes uh, when he, or, you know, very close to 10 minutes when he finally starts his third base cannon. Of course, it can't be canceled this time, but the damage has been done. Well, the plus one for range attack here is coming. Roach upgrades as well. This is uh, going to probably be a pretty drawn-out game. Shine also not oh. interested in attacking again here. He takes a fourth. He's upgrading drops. Oh, that's cool. That's smart because um, if Protoss leaves, he can drop into the second or into the main. Yeah, that's true. That is true. And you know what? A Baneling drop into the natural would come so fast. I would love to see that. I don't think that's going to happen because if you see a Baneling Nest go up right now, you know he's getting drops. So I think probably he's just going to focus on Roach Drops, but this is, like, really cool to see. Very fresh play here from Shine. I'm like, I don't know why he's winning me over. It doesn't make sense. I hated him in StarCraft 1. Hated. Your feelings are complex, Artosis. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have Stalkers and Sentries moving out now. Zerg looking for an opening, sending Lings up to the top. We have a dozen Roaches hatching. Now, I don't think he's going to push all the way down no, here with this. No. Well, you know what he's going to do is he is going to force Recall. a cancel on the fourth. 
which does is he have actually really good. This? Yeah, he yeah, does. Yeah. There's a shadow of it. And the thing is, he can just put up a little force field wall and, and not even force to cancel. He's actually just going to straight up kill this. Uh, and actually, a lot of Shine's units are across the map right now. Oh my god, is he going to do that pylon? Oh man. I actually was watching Control stream and that happened to him once. Um, <laughs> oh, that's pretty good force fields overall. And <laughs> almost was awesome, but. Well, uh, just, that was a just sloppiest good. force field donut. Yeah, that's that's like a donut from someone that doesn't make donuts regularly. No, that's uh, not a good donut machine you have there. Uh, okay, okay, one link versus the Nexus. The sand is running out of the hourglass, Artosis. Yeah, I guess. All right, so this is kind of interesting. He skipped that fourth base. He's getting a little bit greedy. He's deciding he's going to go for more. What is <laughs> Wow, killing a lot of drones off here. Wait a minute, you don't have anything here. So there's some base trading going on right now. We've actually had this more base This isn't a base trades. trade, but this is base trading? It's like base renting? Huh. He's leased out this base for now or something? Yeah. And like... Well, um, he could eventually pull out with his army. Wait, does he have energy on the mothership core? He does, yeah, right? Yeah, he does. He, he has, has plenty. Full energy. Okay. Yeah. Now he's going to... He's definitely like going to warp out of here now. That was actually like really well done. And you know what? He saved his own third. That is... That is some strong play from SOS. Shine has to make something happen with these drops now. He's in a terrible spot. He's lost too many drones. He's lost too many units. And he never killed the third. Well, that was such a blow to his economy. That was mm. insane. Taking out two bases and getting out after doing a lot of damage. But here's his chance. He's going to try to do the pickup uh, for the drop over here in the center left. Yeah, and there is nothing here spotting. There almost never is anything here spotting in a PVZ. Uh, especially this early into the game, especially after such a frantic game like this. So this is going to catch him off guard. Thing is, he has Blink, and he has a spotter on the right-hand side of his base. See that pylon? That's going to allow him to get all of his stalkers in his main base in a matter of, like, two seconds. So he's trying to lure him oh, over here. Oh, nice force fields again. But the drop is coming in here. Is he going to be ready? He sees it. He sees the Dark Shrine. That's an important moment as well. Probe's not evacuated. Looks like they're all going to be killed off. And he doesn't actually use Blink to get in his main base. He's actually uh, just kind of walking them up. So that's a little bit slower, but looks like he may get the Nexus. Okay, well, that's something. But at, at what cost? Well, I mean, he's going to lose all these roaches, right? Yeah, for sure he loses all the roaches. Uh, I mean, he still has more supply right now. And there's actually not that many probes on the map. Only 39 at the moment. Yeah. This is like, well, Shine also... really plays a different brand of StarCraft. And what's most important about that is that his brand of StarCraft works. He plays works. Tesco StarCraft, man. This is like, <laughs> he plays Sam's Club <laughs> StarCraft, <laughs> he's actually. Not, okay, he's coming up now. Uh, oh, he's going to force a cancel. No, no, I, 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 I force it to be destroyed, excuse me. Yeah, that's pretty big. And, and this he is, gets the sentries, too. This is the moment where you stop all aggression. This is the moment where you sit back, you macro, you push your creep, because... He's playing against a one Nexus Protoss right now. He's killed the sentries. I think if he overcommits and throws all of his units in and allows for, you know, SOS to pick off a bunch of units for almost free. That would cost then SOS, him. Yeah, SOS can come well, back and kill him. But There's almost way less areas for the uh, Protoss to have to worry about defending. I mean, he has almost nothing left. Mm. They have even the, the amount of Chronos that are slowed down in this mess. Yeah. So he's going to drop over here. Now, look at this. This is overkill by Shine to drop in the main base right now. This, yeah. Why is he trying to do this? I, I want him to just sit back and crush this army. If he just crushes SOS's army, uh, you know, then I think he's in a really good spot. But here's the problem. I think, I think actually uh, SOS wins from here. I think he actually holds I this think, off. I think he kills right. off the roaches. Yeah. He just needs to get um, a little bit more defense down there. He can go from base to base. Uh, SOS yeah. get taking out all of the rest of Shine's resources. It's actually really easy for him to get in over there. What Shine just said is, with that drop, is, hey, if I somehow hold what you're doing, I win for sure. But it's oh. like, well, no, if you hold this at all, you're so far ahead, the game isn't over. But wow, those DTs, man, yeah. getting real value. No Overseer around there. And more DTs coming in here. And if he snipes down that Overseer, he does. Yeah, very nicely done, allowing those DTs to just continue their reign of terror. We got even oh more God. DTs now. Oh I God. don't believe it. there's only uh, what a, there's no overseer you know, on the map right now. Without so these DTs, he may have held that actually. DTs have ridiculous damage output. I'm surprised he didn't send one or two into the main. Um, but I guess he just wants to win with sheer power. Yeah, he, here. well, he has to kill the army if he's going to win, right? He's got like That's one true. next. Oh, well, I guess his second next finish, but still. 
Uh, you know, this was this was a really interesting game, Tasteless, but I feel like it's uh, coming to a conclusion here. Shine has nothing left. There's no reason for him to even remain in this game. And all, no. The one reason would be he's not completely sure of what SOS really has at home, but after seeing this new warping round come down, I think that's enough to tell him, like, oh, okay. You have way too much for me to ever Okay, deal. we're going to see GG. There it is. SOS wins game one. Yeah, that was really close, though. Uh, I'm not saying Shine wins if he keeps that one army back that he dropped at the end, but he absolutely should have kept it back because he did enough damage killing two Nexus. He gave so many of his units to destroy the economy of his opponent. All he had to do was hold off the units of his opponent because that's all his opponent has left. All SOS had was that one big attack. If that didn't work, he's, he's drawn dead. That's it. Nothing left. Now, the question for me is, does he one base again here? SOS has been one base and it's been working against Shine. Shine has to be seeing this unfold in front of him where he's saying, oh my god, I'm not getting a score. I'm not I'm not being uh, able to punish his quick nexus because he's not getting one. Yeah, but SOS is the type of player that will just randomly open with like a cannon rush. So if he goes something like double hatch before pool, which is how you would abuse the build that we just saw from SOS, SOS may just pop up a can and be like, sub. That is true. And in fact, with SOS cannon rushing so much, he's the best at it. He is. Again, when the map choices shines, he always goes with overgrowth. Yeah. Well, we'll see if uh, SOS has outgrown Shine's strategy on this yeah. map. Tosis, AKA the joke book. <laughs> That's it. Um, okay, so. I feel like Shine, even though his play has been really good, I have to say that SOS has actually out-thought him at the start of the game, and then even when uh, Shine gets ahead, SOS has clutched it to the end. That's right, yeah. That's a good way to put it. Let's.